Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So today I bring you guys a different style loot video. Uh, first things first, this is loot from 3,000 Green Dragons. And the reason that this video is different than most, uh, that's mainly because a lot of PKing was done in the making of this video, and I would say 80% of all the clips that you guys are going to be seeing throughout this very long video is me really just PKing people, whether it's me defending myself or whether it's just just me killing fellow PVMers, whether they were dragon bots or Venezuelans, there was no one off limits for this, and uh, that's kind of where the entertainment came from because I did live stream pretty much all of this on Twitch. Some crazy things happened during this video. If you were there for the live streams, you definitely know what I'm talking about, and if not, you guys are in for a lot of surprises. So yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You know, green dragons have been in the game a very long time, being released December 1st, 2003, at a combat level of 79. They've always stayed the exact same as it goes for their graphics. And yeah, other than the goblin, the chicken, the cow, I would say this is one of the most nostalgic monsters uh, in all of RuneScape. Really represents what the game is all about. Overall, according to the RuneScape wiki, there is six different locations that you can kill green dragons at. Uh, but as always, I did want to choose pretty much the number one hot spot for PKers, which is why I chose Kara Langer. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is north of the Graveyard of Shadows in level 24 to 26 wilderness. Usually this area is mainly dominated by the presence of a lot of Venezuelans uh, kind of around the levels of 80 to 90. You don't see too many level 100s here. I mean I was here for around 4 days, uh, 8 to 10 hours a day and I didn't see too many of my levels although anyone that I did see that I could attack I definitely did attack. And you may ask yourself well Mr. No Sleep if you did kill all these people killing dragons did their bones and their hides get mixed in with your bones and your hides? And the answer to that is absolutely, you know, I figure this is loot from 3,000 green dragons, but that certainly does not mean that I have to kill all 3,000 myself. Obviously, I kind of did, but uh, yes, anytime that I did kill someone, depending on what was going on, depending on if there was any people nearby, I would most of the time pick up all their bones, all of their hides. That's where the useful looting bag did come in. As most of you know, if you do have the Elite Wilderness Diaries complete, all of your dragon bones from any dragon in the wilderness will be noted, and since that was the case for me, the looting bag pretty much much just stored all of the green dragon hides. So if you do decide to kill anything in the wild, it is highly recommended that you bring a looting bag, but I'm sure most of you guys all know that. Here in this clip, you know, I was actually just exploring the East Dragons. This is the spot south of Inanatus, around 22 to 25 Wilderness. And go figure, the very first world that I went to, I actually got almost PK'd, and then he just ended up teleporting. And I decided to do some hopping around, and there is a lot of bots here. This spot is pretty much the bot hotspot. Other than occasionally seeing a few 105 you really don't see too many of my levels at this area. This was actually on a weekend, and then the following Monday, I came back here, and there was nobody here. I hopped uh, through numerous worlds, dozens of worlds, and it was virtually empty. And I did go on the Old School RuneScape Twitter, and it did say that 28,000 bots had been banned on Monday, and I'm assuming a lot of these green dragon bots were pretty much a part of that. I didn't stay here too long. I think I was only here for like a day or two. If you do come to this area in the total level worlds, you might see some Iron Men, you know, grind finding some green dragon bones, stockpiling a lot of things. Obviously, back in the old days, you know, 2005 to 2007, this was a very popular PKing hotspot. Names like Bloodhound34, Elf Mage, and of course, Mako Pro, they all did PK around here, so this was pretty much my childhood, as seen on YouTube many, many years ago. But uh, after those two days went by, I did return to the Karalanger Dragons, and I just went back to work. As you can see, a lot of people do bring cannons here, and that is suggested. I mean, you're not going to lose too much money if you bring a cannon. And if anything, you're just going to get a lot more kills per hour. So even though you will be spending money on cannonballs, your kills per hour will go up so significantly. I think it'll actually be worth the cost. I myself didn't bring a cannon. I didn't think I needed to. Since I was such a high level and I was also super combat sip the whole entire video, I didn't think a cannon was necessary. And I don't think it is necessary if you're past 120 combat. But if you are level 80 and you're level 90 and you bring in a cannon, then you're definitely going to get probably similar kills per hour than I was, if not more. It is a good med level money making method to kill green dragons, and I'm sure a lot of you were probably annoyed that I started the video using a Zamrock Hosta, and don't worry, after the first 500 or so kills, I did go ahead and switch over to a Dragon Hunter Lance. You just have to understand, I was scrolling up so often and live streaming this, you know, uh, the chance of me getting TB'd and then of course a clan logging in was very high, and it did even happen quite a few times. So I thought the Dragon Hunter Lance, as well as the Dragon Claw Risk, was just a little too much. Then I grew some balls and uh, just started scrolling up with all that stuff anyway. You may also notice now, at this 
point, I did change my username from Mr. No Sleep to Crab Rangoo. This actually wasn't after the Chinese food, I know, go figure. Never tried that before yet. Yeah, I did just want to not be known as Mr. No Sleep in the wilderness, you know, I already had a target on my back from streaming all this. And speaking of being targeted, this is why I decided not to kill the green dragons in the multi-rev caves. I know that there is that lovely amulet that just notes everything, but unfortunately it is in multi. So yeah, I tried to escape this team, and unfortunately I guess I haven't learned the steps of the wild not to run in because I ran right into multi from singles. And luckily for me, uh, the ice barrage as well as the entangler did splash around six times each. So yes, I should have died there, no doubt about it. And that is my fault for even trying out the rev cave green dragons. When you have elite wilderness diaries and you're already getting noted bones, there's really no reason to go there. Now for this next clip, I just want to give a big shout out to my man Mac and Cheese. It looks like I wasn't the only one who named myself after food. But yeah, you know, when I did kill this guy, I knew it was a little too good to be true to change my player attack options from left click only to off. And as you can see there, I did slow down the clip. There was a max mage, third age mage hat, arcane and all, who logged in. And the goal was for me to, while I was picking up the loot, click on him, skull, and then I would be tele blocked, and then I would be screwed. So yeah, guys, if you ever kill someone in the wild and you're looting their stuff and it just seemed like it was too easy and it was too good to be true, it most likely is. Just make sure to change your player attack options to the right way, and that way you'll be safe from sculling yourself, and that actually happened numerous times throughout the video. I mean, I didn't mind, because every time I killed their alt or their bait account, whatever you want to call it, whether it was a team, a clan, or just one guy on multiple accounts doing this, it was always a free 300k, so I'm not going to complain. And the inventory, as well as the gear that I was using, was really old school. I mean, I was always bringing the manta rays, as well as the karam ones for combo eats, as well as always a sanfu serum, just in case I got poisoned. With a good stack of brews and restores, I did go with divine super ranging and divine super combat potions just to kind of help me speed up the dragon kills themselves. But anytime that I would spec someone, it was pretty obvious when I was going to because every time you take a sip of the divine potions, it does damage you a little bit. But it did make it pretty obvious at times, but honestly, it didn't really cost me the kill too often. And I do hope you guys don't take offense to me killing uh, some Venezuelans throughout this video. You know, they are in the wilderness and it is the wild after all. I did kill one guy though and I did feel a little bit uh, remorseful, so I did give him 5 mil. Just to prove to you guys that I do have a heart, you know, I'm not always so ruthless, but uh, yeah, he's a nice guy. Shout out to my man Luis. And yeah, most of the time when I would kill someone who was just killing dragons, the only drops that I would receive is just a few armor pieces, uh, sometimes a combat bracelet. These guys really brought some weird gear. I mean, I'm talking runes, skims, carols, coifs, team capes, leather chaps, mithril armor. I mean, I just don't understand. Like, you'd think that they would bring just a basic set of dehyde and a glory, but yeah, I, don't, I really don't know. I guess everyone just is into their own thing. There were occasions where I did attack some people who were actually doing the same exact thing that I was doing. Got a couple times where some people would retaliate with cloth specs or AGS specs, but for the most part, I did do pretty well. I only died one time in the making of this whole entire video, and I think you guys will see that clip a little later on. At this point, I was 1,000 kills in, and I was having a great time. A good friend of mine, Big Staker, from back in the day, did visit me while I was killing these green dragons, and uh, I guess he just somehow lost his claws. He must have forgot to protect items. So yeah, in the following clips, when you see me pick up an insane amount of loot, don't think too much of it. Sometimes I just meet some people who have a lot of money and they feel like giving it to me. I didn't keep any of this. Uh, the total loot, I think, was eight pairs of dragon claws and quite a lot of other stuff. And if you were in my live streams last week, you did receive this all throughout giveaways. Not promoting my streams, and I'm certainly not promoting giveaways. Never really been a big fan of them to begin with. But yeah, all those clips, uh, just pretty much extra clips. Don't think too much of it. I didn't keep anything. You know, this whole loot series is how I built my bank, and it's how I want to maintain my bank. I myself was a big staker back in the day, but those days are long gone. Regardless, a big shout out to my friend Josh, very generous guy, and uh, we did make a lot of people happy with all that GP to give away. Now that clip there was another example of me almost having a problem. You know, I did get telly blocked on the same tick of where I tellied. I did get away luckily, and of course I came back 10 minutes later to rush this guy, and I chanced myself for about 65 mil. So yeah, I wasn't uh, afraid of scrolling up by any means. This was just one of those days where I was in a certain kind of mood, and luckily for me, I didn't uh, pay for it. I tanked both of those times, but that guy with the AGS uh, did have a really good shot at getting me for one of the biggest losses that I would have had in this whole loot series. And to add insult to injury, he even saw that 267 mil PK from a friend of mine, and he even asked for a split, so yeah, that was uh, pretty funny in my opinion. And yeah, here's actually the clip where I did fight some guy, looks like he was just a simple PKer, and I figured why not, you know, content is content, and he did get me with that high vengeance. Um, I myself was bringing a rune pouch as well this whole video, and of course stacking the vengeance runes inside there. One of the most underrated things, especially for ants,
anti PKing uh, is vengeance. You know, people are going to tend to hit pretty high on you, and if you time it correctly, you can get yourself an amazing kill, or you, of course, yourself can be on the receiving end of that. And of course, there were occasions where I would be in some sticky situations and people would be rushing me and I just had to log out, and luckily, every time that I was sure that I was going to die, I did log out and I did get away. So, yeah, my tanking effort was pretty good for this video compared to most other videos in the wilderness. But yeah, getting back to the green dragons themselves, you know, let's talk a little bit about the drop table. You know, every single clue scroll that I would get, I'm sure most of you guys know that green dragons do drop hard clues as well as most dragons. And since I was in the wilderness, I was using a ring of wealth imbued, which means that 1 in 128 drop rate drops down to 1 in 64. So you guys are going to see a ton of caskets towards the end of the video. And alongside doing the clues, you know, the other drops can consist of just a few gems, a few different herbs, and a little bit of alkables. You know, nothing too crazy, just steel and myth, as well as the infamous Addy Full Helm alongside the rune daggers. I did my very best to keep track of all the coins as well, you know, since that Ring of Wealth does have the ability to keep track and pretty much put all the coins into your inventory. I was collecting them all and, of course, banking them all. However, there would be times where I would kill someone and they would drop the amount of GP that is equivalent to Barrow's Gloves, so sometimes that would get mixed in, but at the very end, I tried my best to kind of just come up with a number that sounded right, that looked right, uh, based off of the kills and certain clips that I already had the normal amount of coins for. You don't have to be 100% accurate, I mean, they're just green dragons after all. Hope you guys don't take the coins too seriously. And in all honesty, I don't really think people pick up the coins, even the Venezuelans, uh, from what I see, they're usually just left on the floor. Now, this clip here, you know, was very strange to me, because as I was killing some dragons, a guy who looked like he was coming from the Rev Caves was just walking by very casually, and I did spec him out as quickly as I could, but notice how he didn't have a bracelet on, at least didn't look like he had a bracelet on, and the second that I started picking up his drops, there were two max mages south, but they instantly just kind of looked at me and then they ran away, maybe that bear saved my life, I, I still don't know to this day, but nevertheless, it was about a 900k solid PK just from what looked to be a PVMer, if not a skull trick bait, and I'm always a good fish for some bait, you know, I'm, I'm the big whale that always pretty much goes for anything in the wild, you know, I tend to skull up over almost anything, but here's just another example of me killing someone, and it was actually a decent fight. I didn't think too much of it, but I was still being pretty paranoid. And then, of course, after about 10 seconds of right-clicking, there was a max mage that logged in underneath me, and I luckily had the last laugh on that one as well. So yeah, I mean, if this video doesn't teach you anything about green dragons, at least you'll learn a little bit about what not to do in the wilderness, and, uh, you know, of course, always being cautious. Even if you think to yourself that, you know, you're never gonna kill green dragons for money, that is true, but maybe you'll be in a situation one day where you'll be doing some wilderness slayer, and, uh, you know, people tend to target people doing wilderness slayer uh, quite often. And even if you see someone who's asking for your help or they're trying to help you, you really can't trust anyone. You know, in this clip here, I did kill another major yet again, and the same skull trick was going on, where you're just, you know, spam clicking and a PKer logs in underneath. And in this situation, there was a max mage who logged in, and as soon as he did, you notice how that guy with the armadillo helmet instantly attacked him. I still think to this day that they're actually a team. I did come back, and they were still attacking him, but I was later shown a screenshot that kind of showed that guy in the same group. So I don't know what they were trying to do there kind of a reminder that even if you're watching a fight go on, you could still be the intended target. You just never know these days. It's 2020 and people are always coming up with new methods and new ways to get you to skull. I've been in that scene as well and uh, it's still thriving. And a clip coming up here was yet again another friend of mine who actually genuinely wanted to fight and try to kill me, but luckily for me, he's a mobile user and I know mobile users, you know, I'm not, nothing against them or anything. They don't make for the best PKers, so I did get myself a nice 8 mil PK from him. I didn't keep any of that stuff though, I just gave that stuff away too, you know, I didn't think I needed it. And yeah, there was a pretty big team that did run by shortly after that. Kind of a reminder that uh, north of this area is Black Chin Champas, and that is a pretty good PKing hotspot. Mainly for single teams, so if they do spot you at Dragons, you just have to be wary of that, get ready to telly and all that good stuff. My teleporter choice for this video from start to finish was just the simple Amulet of Glory, along with the simplistic gear as well as the inventory. I'd say the only thing that was OP or kind of new school was of course the Dragon Hunter Lance. But with that Lance, here we are all these days later with 3,000 thousand green dragons finally killed. I know this video was very long, but what can I say? You know, there was a lot of content to show, a lot of clips, a lot of people. Hopefully this inspires some people to maybe check out the green dragons. You know, I know revs is mainly where people like to PK and anti-PK. Yeah, you know, if you're ever bored, try out the green dragons. Uh, I seem to have a lot of fun there on and off stream. So yeah, it was a good experience. Let's get into the price check. So the price check of all these bones and hides and everything in between comes out to be just about 15.9 mil rounded up. The price of insold heads actually on the rise. This was a really good time to be killing these green dragons. Just in the bones and the hides, we actually did make 13.3 mil. So most of your profit is obviously just going to come from those two main things, the hides and the bones. But the insold heads,
Meds as well as the Alkables do add up over time. I would recommend you either bring Alks with you or just Vengeance so that you know you don't have to pick those up individually. And for the amount of Clue Scrolls that we did receive, we have 29 caskets to open, so let's go ahead and open all those now. If you're curious about the cost of supplies for this video, it really wasn't too much. The only time that I would ever eat food was if I was in a fight, and I don't think that I should just factor in that food for the cost of supplies since really if you're just killing green dragons, the only thing you actually should be using is the occasional prayer sip and of course the divine super combat sip. So for the supplies, I'll just say 500k. I don't think it would ever be more than that. Super sets are always optional, you know, just really makes for faster kills per hour. With the lance as well as the method that I was doing in my attention span, I was just getting about 75 to 80 kills an hour. But I know for a fact you can get well over 100 kills an hour, especially if you bring a cannon. As you can see from these clue scrolls, we weren't getting anything too rare, but uh, you know, the average reward, you know, we were definitely getting that in double the amount. So yeah, really good rewards, you know, a lot of 150ks, a couple 200ks, and quite a lot of over 100k rewards. I did actually have a master clue in my bank while I was opening these, so that's on me. I do apologize, but to be honest, you guys don't really ever see master clues in this loot series anyway. The goal for me in 2020 is to actually switch to Rune Light so I can start doing master clues because they do take me a long time still to this day. So that's just one more flaw that I gotta fix. Overall though, as you all saw, 29 hard clue scrolls was achieved and all opened, and we did make just about 3.3 to 3.5 mil from that. It's so all round in the middle to 3 3.4. If you go ahead and you add that to the 15.9 mil that we made from the green dragons themselves, the overall amount is about 19.3 mil. Now just from all of the bots as well as the Venezuelans as well as the people that I PK'd on the side, I did make approximately maybe 1 mil from all of them. It was hard to keep track of because, you know, I just had so much weird things happen through the video, as I'm sure most of you have seen by now. And if you're one of those people that just skips to the price check, I know the thumbnail is a little misleading, but I assure you this video has a lot of funny moments, so uh, I do recommend you actually checking it out. This was by far one of my favorite videos as it just goes for entertainment value. Obviously the accomplishment was a little bit low, but it was so much fun. I mean, this was just one of those things where if it's in the wilderness, you know, the enjoyment for me just goes way up. I even honored the green dragons that I slayed by dressing up as a green dragon and trying my best to, you know, breathe fire and bring demise to my fellow PVMers and PKers in the wilderness. But of course I died like 20 times and I killed like two people. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. This whole video was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And if you're curious for any details regarding the green dragons, again, just check out the description below. Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, it's still January, so I think I could still say that. Thank you for your time today. I know it was a long one. I really do appreciate you watching it. And until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.